For maximum picture quality, it may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your VCR. to bear country you'll know when you're there as soon as you enter you'll feel like a bear a great grizzly bear a berenstain bear we are the berenstain bears mama papa sister brother we appreciate each other we live in a split level tree mama papa sister and me snug as buds in a split level tree here are more bears Big Bob Bear. Rabbit's Ralph. Oh, uh who's -huh. Honey Bugger? I'm the mayor. And watch, watch more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. I'll take a look under the step. Hmm, not there. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. Good morning, Papa. What are the cubs up to this morning? Oh, they're playing hide and seek. It's good to see how brother and sister get along. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> yes, but I do wish sister had somebody her own age. A little girl her own age to play with. Brother has Cousin Freddy and the other boys. 510 Sister behind the hollyhock! 510 Sister! In clear! In clear! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had enough of hide and go seek. Fine! What do you want to do next? I know what! You wait right there! Okay, up off the stump. Because what we're going to do now is play tea party. All right, Dolly, you sit here. You sit here, snoozer dog. And let's see now. Tea party? Hey, <laughs> give me a break. Okay, we're all set. You sit there and be the papa. And I'll sit here and be the mama. Hey, give me a break, sis. Boys don't play tea party. Why, if Cousin Freddy or any of the other guys saw me, I'd never hear the end of it. You mean you're not going to play? It's all set up. You really ought to find another girl to play tea party with. Besides, I'm going skateboarding with Freddy. All right for you. You, you tea party pooper. Hmm. Well, may as well practice a little jump rope. Well, it happened again. What's that? Brother skateboarded off to Cousin Freddy's and left Sister all by her lonesome. Oh, I wouldn't worry. She's got her forest friends, Frog and Butterfly, to play with. Frogs and butterflies are all very well, but it's not the same as having a cub friend your own age. Look, a moving truck. Somebody must be moving into that empty tree house down the road. It certainly would be nice if they had a little girl sister's age. You never know. Hey, look at that. Somebody moving into the empty tree house. I wonder if they have any cubs. That was quite a trip. Sure feels good to get out of the car. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Hello there. Thanks for the welcome. What's your name? I'm Sister Bear. I'm six years old and I live just down the road. Hi, I'm Lizzie Bruin. And this is my papa and mama, Mr. and Mrs. Bruin. I'm six years old too. Nice to meet you, my dear. Now, if you cubs will excuse us, we have things to see to. May I try your jump rope? I can do red hot pepper, cinnamon, 
salt, mustard, vinegar, onion, ginger, red hot pepper. Well, I can jump to a thousand. I can do a thousand and one. A thousand and two. A thousand and three. We'll just see about that. Let's have a jump off right here and now. Let's not. And say we did. Say, isn't that a playground over there? Well, yeah. Last one there is a rotten egg. That new family does have a little girl. Oh? She certainly is a lively little thing. She may be just what sister needs. Race it to the top of the jungle, Jim. You're on. <sighs> Seesaw time. Seesaw, Marjorie Da. Jack shall have a new master. He shall make but a penny a day. Cause he can't go any faster. <clears throat> Come on. Let's take turns pushing each other on the swings. How would you like to go up in a swing? Higher! Up in the sky so blue! Higher! Oh, I do think it's the pleasantest thing that ever a cub can do! Higher! Hey, wildflowers! Let's pick some for our mamas! Right! Yeah, how is Sister making out with her new little friend? Well, they certainly have led each other on a merry chase. See? I told you there was nothing to worry about. Hmm. They seem to be heading home and... How nice. They each have a bouquet of wild flowers. Here's some flowers, Mama. For me? How thoughtful. It was Lizzie Bruin's idea. Lizzie Bruin? Yeah, she just moved in up the road. Oh? What's she like? Here, let me put these in water. Well, let's see. Her name is Lizzie, she's six years old, she's an only cub, and she's a little bossy. Oh? I caught some glimpses of you out the window and you certainly seem to be having fun. Oh, yes, I had a lot of fun. A little bossy and a little braggy. Bear's residence. Sister, uh, just a moment. Sister, it's for you. Hello, this is Sister Bear. Hi, this is Lizzie Bruin. Want to come over and play school? Okay. Bring some of your dolls and stuffed animals. Mine aren't unpacked yet. Okay, see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> There you go. And here, sister. My mom and papa are still fixing up and putting away. So we're gonna play in here. Who'd you bring? I brought my best doll and stuffed animals. And this is my special teddy that I've slept with every night since I was a baby. Hey, this is going to be fun. Please be seated, sister. It's time for your lessons. First, I'm gonna teach you the alphabet. The first letter of the alphabet is A. Now, just a minute. Who said you were going to be the teacher? When I play school, I'm the teacher. And not only that, I already know the alphabet. Sister Bear, if you don't sit down this minute, I'm going to keep you after school. Is that so? Well, if you don't give me that pointer, I'm going to keep you after school. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> now, look what you did. You broke my pointer. Here, keep your old pointer. I'm never going to play with you again. Never is too short for me. Good. I'll just take my dolls and go home. Sister's mad and I'm glad. Lizzie, Lizzie in a tizzy. Sister's mad and I'm Back so soon? I'm never 
going to play with that Lizzie Bruin again. She's much too braggy and bossy. I don't need her to play school with or anything else. It's much better playing by herself. When you play by yourself, you can do anything you want without worrying about that Lizzie Bruin. That's true. Of course, there are some things you really can't do very well by yourself. Like what? Well, you'd have a pretty hard time pushing yourself on a swing. And I'd like to see you ride a seesaw all by yourself. Most games like hopscotch and jacks take two to play. And it certainly is nice to have someone you can laugh and giggle with. <laughs> Maybe so, but Lizzie is so bossy and braggy. Why does she have to be teacher when we play school? It seems to me that Lizzie isn't the only cub around here that's a little braggy and bossy sometimes. And of course, there is one thing you can do much better by yourself. What's that, Mama? Be lonesome. Somebody at the door. Why, hello. When Sister took all her dolls and went home, she forgot her teddy. And well, I knew it was her favorite, that she slept with it since she was a baby and thought she might miss it. Why, thank you, Lizzie. That was very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. And you can be teacher if you want to. Or we can take turns. Terrific! Last one back to your garage is a rotten egg. <laughs> Cubs. <laughs>